guys. Ground 15 times. There's a blend of 34 slices here, which already makes it amazing. This was really like an Indian style. I found the spices a lot. So that's what makes it uh, different from the other Kati rolls. This actually reminds me of food from India. The meat and the paratha that you get here is completely differently made here. And also the spices, uh, it's different. This is Coca-Cola Hunger Hut. On today's Coca-Cola Hunger Hunt, I'm going to sample some authentic Indian cuisine cooked by Indians using their house recipe and a special blend of spices. I will be acquainting you with uh, the people who take so much effort in cooking and the best of foods they serve here. So as you can see, I'm standing right in front of Marigold Cafe, which is right opposite to the Pokhari of Adat Pokhari and uh, Naranjiti Palace. So you will find it very easily. Batuma Park on Mildena, and these guys have a parking space. Come with me. All right, let's walk. It is my second time here. Thank you. My le asti um evta roll khaliya ko popular kya tha? Mood makhni yes, mood makhni. So tiyo evta gordino sa na? Ani, um, I don't think I wanna eat what I ate last time. Let's try something new. Ani, Uta, let's go for galoti kebab. Yeah. Gorgeous. Ani, this is right. kima pao, ani Uta wada pao. You songi le dinos na? First mata hi, um, Uta galoti kebab le rai dinos, hai na? Ani, um, this pachi kima pao wada pao. Ani last ka kanchi le. Thank you so much. A family-run joint, Marigold looks very warm and welcoming with the friendly owners and cheerful staffs. Reasonable menu, pricing, and above all, a faint, enticing aroma exuding from the kitchen. So this meat is uh, minced close to 15-16 times to get it the consistency and the softness. So basically this kebab that was made was actually made by one of the kanzamas. The kansama is basically the head chef of the nawab. So this kebab usually takes like 35 different spices and it's a blend of some spices that you don't get. So there's like dagar food and all that stuff. So these spices are very hard to come by over here. So we again have a very uh, specific supplier that only deals with this and he sends us a huge quantity every month. delight and you know what I've seen how you know they cook them so that was enough for me to salivate and I'm already famished you can tell how soft these are This is really good. Oh, it's really tender, outright amazing. I love it. Look at how the kebab breaks. It is so tender, guys. And the kima. So fine and mushy. Guys, ground 15 times, 15 times. There's a blend of 34 slices here, which already makes it amazing. The 
buff patties are really good. You don't need to chew it. It just melts inside your mouth. It does. Try eating this with um, the chutney that they give you to add that funky taste and you will just love it. Typically and ubiquitous street food today in India, both Vada Pao and Kima Pao get a chef's makeover here at Marigold Cafe. To prepare Vada Pao, chef starts by rolling pre-marinated and seasoned potatoes into first size balls. They are then battered and deep fried until they are cooked. The sweet and tender buns are then sliced in the middle, buttered and grilled. The chef then stuffs the buns with deep fried potato balls, some Bombay masala and then a fried whole chili. As for the keema pao, the chef finally chops onions and coriander which are fried with diced garlic ginger. After some frying, chicken mince is then added. Then generous amount of their in-house spices followed by water. The whole thing is stir-fried for quite some time, so the spices and meat infused to give an irresistible taste. The hand then get the similar butter and grill treatment and the whole thing is then served on a big plate with buns and keema placed separately. You log dinus. Bada pao, keema pao paya. Thank you so much. For my bada pao and kima pao, guys, I love Indian food. Do you think I can finish all of this? So this is the kima pao, you kima pao, eh? Yes. Oh, look at the bada pao. Look at the serving. Oh my god. Wait, let me first sit and enjoy this beautiful view before eating. So here is my bada pao and this is my keema pao. They look stunning, don't they? Um, yeah, there's a screen chutney on the side. It's not bobby masala. Tha. Oh my god, thank god Shavan so cute. So you can come here, Malaita Disney for a quarter. Um so I'm gonna start off with my bada Despite an um, impeccable resemblance to burgers, which is a delightful coincidence, these are authentic Indian burgers with Indian spices and I can speak no further. Suddenly get a bite of salt, the spices, the beautifully done potatoes, and after you start munching on them, there you go. You get into that flow of this umami flavor, which I love. Okay, 
Okay, that was what I found. I cannot finish this too, and I cannot share it. But I'm taking it home. I will finish this one and then move on to the beautiful looking Kima Pao. Well, I know you question my appetite, but I do too. I don't know what's wrong with me. I can just eat. Take some of this soft bread. Oh, it's dipped in butter. Wow. Thumbs up to that. I don't know what they put in the keema, but it's just delicious. Thumbs up. So, um, in the first side, I thought the meat was kind of dry, but it's Absolutely not dry. It's juicy and just melts inside your mouth. And if that wasn't enough for you, break this, add keema, add this chutney on the side, the Bombay masala, take a bite and let your senses take over you. of this murg makhani kati roll is a two-pronged process. First, the chicken, which has been previously marinated and chilled, is tossed in butter in a pan. It is then stir-fried in a little bit of cream sauce. On the grill, the thick flatbread is buttered and grilled on both the sides. Once it is done, the chicken pieces are placed on the flatbread and finely rolled along with more onions and coriander plus some cream and then served with a mint attack. This one's my favorite. This one's one of my favorite things to eat here. This roll is the best roll you'll find anywhere around Kathmandu. Trust me. I mean, it's so stuffed, so rich, I can't even hold it properly. that you're in a perfect balance. Mm, I mean, the roll is buttery. Love the stuffings. You can find um, large chunks of meat in it and the, the roll is just firm. You will love it. It's not spicy, but you can feel a little bit of heat building up once you start eating. Yes, but the bread is a little thicker, which is a compliment. Um, and yeah, I love the presentation. This roll is just awesome. Freshly cooked, perfectly rolled, and not too salty at all. Oh yes, and there's lemon wedge and uh, salads if you want to tweak the taste a little bit, but I'm good. I don't really know. It was raining outside and we were quite hungry. That's why we thought about let's 
get to this place and let's see what's there to have. And uh, what we found here was kati roll was a special dish. I got into the menus and everywhere I saw the kati rolls as a special dish. The dish was uh, good. It is quite spicy. Yes, if you guys would like to have a kati roll, the spicy one, the Marigold Cafe is highly recommended. This was really like Indian style. I found the spices a lot. So that's what makes it uh, different from the other kati rolls. What I just had was a chicken tikka roll. This actually reminds me of food from India. The meat and the paratha that you get here is completely differently made here. And also the spices, uh, it's different. Uh, one of the rolls that I, I normally have here is, is the murg makhani roll. It's, it is butter, butter chicken basically. And it is, I never knew that you can mix butter chicken and paratha together and make a roll out of that and I actually really like that too. The price is actually okay for a restaurant like this um, and the service is really good actually. Yeah, there is variety of kashiroko. Like, you can eat it. Like, if you eat it, there's only one, like chicken roll or the egg roll. But over here, there's so many kinds and it's very creative. I like to eat the kashiroko. It's a buffle. It's a very mixture. It was like melt in your mouth. Yeah. Very cozy pensa. Like you feel like you can do anything you want. So I just get my notebook or my laptop and do my stuff along with like I just eat and do my work. Price pani like affordable so. Then the expensive ones are na. Like uh, normal price range ones I am Ryan, Ryan Michael. I'm from Delhi. My wife, my brother and me, we've started this cafe over here. It's been about nine months. We serve Indian food and also we've served a lot of snacks like sandwiches and burgers and rolls. But our main focus is Indian street food as well as main courses. What we're trying to bring is a lot of cuisines specific to regions. So we have something from Goa, which, which would be Goan as well as Portuguese. You've got South Indian as well. Whatever blends are made at home, they're sourced from Delhi or, or we get them from other parts of India. And so we've got very few suppliers who, who do those kind of things. And we've also had a lot of people who come from far-flung areas of Kathmandu. I won't say far-flung, but knowing traffic, they come from Patan or they come from uh, Jamsi Kail, families who are living there. So I would definitely tell them to come, pay us a visit, book in advance, see our menus and definitely come try the best Indian food in Kathmandu and uh, you won't be disappointed. I had a great time eating here. I'm so greedy. Um, I've just packed it for home. My takeaway this is. So I will see you next week with more of our interesting food stories. Until then, do not forget to keep uh, smiling, stay happy, keep eating and find us every Wednesday from 6.30 till 7 on Kandipur HD. And if you're watching us on YouTube, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to us. Bye.